What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of uh, not launching or starting issue you're currently having with Gary Smart. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that, that I would really, really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. Super so support my work in YouTube a little bit, and I'm gonna really, really be thankful for that, and I'm gonna thank you for that. So, anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So, the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it, and opening up your task manager. The next step is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes, just to ensure that you're sticking around it. And afterwards, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and then type in G in order to find Gary Smart. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you should be able to end the task manager again. The next step is going to be to take your Steam or your Gary Smart shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click under the Windows symbol, and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right onto your desktop again. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it, navigate to the very bottom where it says properties. Once this window pops up, I want you to click on compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program compatibility mode for, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and okay. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see the little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. What I want you to do is going to be to simply start it so double click it and launch your game over the launcher or launch your game. This will probably fix your issue. That's it for the video guys, I hope that could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription, I'm gonna really be thankful for that. I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, see you at the next one and bye.